Hi, today I'd like to talk about a new uh, cloud storage offering uh, uh, from QNAP. So this is our MyQNAP cloud storage. Um, anybody can uh, join. Uh, you can get 16 gig for free. Um, you do not need to even have a QNAP to get that 16 gig for free. You can use that. Uh, we offer some extra features on it, such as immutability. So um, effectively, once the data is there, it can't be changed. Um, it works really good with uh, QNAP solutions, obviously, so with our NAS and different things, and I'll demo that in a moment. Uh, so you can back up your NAS data to the cloud. Uh, we've got 12 data centers worldwide currently, so you get to pick uh, a site that's uh, closest to you for the, uh, the fastest transmissions and responses. Um, disaster recovery is really streamlined, so existing apps that work with it is things like hybrid backup sync or hybrid mount uh, and we have a new app coming soon which is hybrid backup center for multi-site backup options so that'll be coming soon as well um, and you'll also be able to recover to QUTS cloud so uh, if your NAS was to ever go down you're able to restore it to a cloud destination so that you can spin up a virtual NAS and restore your data to it so that you can have some continuity um, with hybrid mount you can mount the remote NAS into it so you could have um, let's say one site syncing with the, the primary master data syncing up to the cloud and then you can have hybrid mount smaller NAS um, working a bit more efficiently off the cloud storage just for the data that those other offices are accessing. Um, everything's managed through um, a web-based system, but you can also access it through things like File Explorer on Windows or Finder on a Mac. Um, so once you've mounted it with hybrid mount to a NAS, um, the NAS is then able to share it out on the network so that you can access it through things like a map network drive or a network share, uh, which is really, really efficient to, to gain access to it. Uh, we support encryption, um, versioning, um, lots of different options. You can resume the backup, so if it was interrupted, it'll resume. Um, so you can join now. Um, ways to subscribe to more space. If you do want to just sign up, it's just go to myqnapcloud.com, um, get an account, and you can get the 16 gigs. Uh, if you want to have some extra space, if you go to software.qnap.com, uh, we have the, uh, the the shop there that's able to sell you different subscriptions. So you can pick which region that you want. There's the 12 regions. Uh, so if I was to pick London, UK, for example, um, so you can see the different options uh, here. So 50 gig, 500 gig, so on. So you can just keep adding to, uh, to your, the storage that you need as well. Um, in the video description, it will detail it a bit more. Um, but for um, a four week period, I think from when this video goes live, um, we will provide 50 gigs of free storage for one year um, if you sign up uh, within the next four weeks um, of when this video goes live. Um, so you can get that for, for free as well. Um, so yeah, it's really easy to, to, to sort of subscribe to the uh, capacity that you need. Um, here's my one that I've got logged into here. So I went to myqnapcloud.com, logged in. Um, I've got my different devices and things that I'd normally see here, but there's an extra tab now for my QNAP cloud storage. Um, I've picked the London EU West one, so that's there. Um, and I've got the 566 gigs of storage that I've got there. So I think I've got the 500 gig paid, 50 gig um, uh, provided for free. And then I've also got the 16 gig on top of that, uh, which was free when I first signed up. Uh, so this is my storage now when I click inside it. Um, I've got two folders created. Currently I'm using zero kilobytes. I'm not using any any space uh, from the storage. <clears throat> oh, I must have clicked something there. Let me just log back in. <clears throat> so I'm not using any of my space uh, at the top there. Zero kilobytes of 566 gigs. But I do have uh, two folders created. Uh, one for backup, one for sync. And I'm going to create a job for both of those so that you can see how they work from the NAS. Uh, so I'm going to click over to the NAS here, which is just a TVSH1288X running QTS. You could also use QUTS Hero. Uh, the main thing here is that you need the Hybrid Backup Sync app, the HBS3 application. Uh, so when you open this up, you've got options for backup and sync. Now, I've not added the storage space yet of uh, my cloud storage, so I prefer to do that first. So I'm going to click the bottom option here on the left for storage spaces. I'm going to click storage spaces and I'm going to choose the new option that's been added there with the latest version um, of uh, HBS3. So let me just show you the version that I'm running here. Uh, so HBS3 version 22 is the important part. You need to be on at least version 22 to have the uh, MyQNAP cloud storage option in there as a destination. So I'll click Create Storage, choose the MyQNAP Cloud one. It's already saved my password to log in, so it's going to type that in for me. It sees that I've got the storage, so there's my MyQNAP Cloud storage that I've got added. 
um, region that's there. No other options. It's the only one I've got. I can choose to get more space if I want to. So I can click the shopping basket, uh, and then I'm going to click create. So that's going to basically mount the storage to the NAS so that I can now assign jobs to it. We can see right now jobs are zero. I've not created a job for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up and I'm going to choose to do the backup option first of all. So I'm going to go backup now. I'm going to create a new backup job. I'm going to choose the documents folder. So that's here. So if we go look at what that documents folder contains. So over here, we've got quite a few different things in here. So we've got lots of presentations, PDF files, Excel files, uh, some Apple presentation files. I think there's a couple of Word documents in there as well. So there's a few roadmaps and different things. So just a, a selection of different types of data, 214 files. Um, so that's what I'm going to, going to be using as a backup source here. So that's the documents folder, 83.33 megabytes. So we'll click Next. I'm going to pick my MyQNAP Cloud Storage. Now it's pre-populated because we added the storage space earlier. So that's there. So I'm going to choose that one. It's now going to look to the destination folder. And because this is a backup job, I'm going to choose the backup folder I created just so I know what's going where. You can also create folders here as well if you want to. I'm going to click OK on that one and click Next. Uh, so now you can set up a schedule. So I can create a scheduler to say maybe I want this to run um, daily at midnight, let's say. So we'll set that one up. That's fine. And I'm going to say backup now. I want this backup job to run straight away as soon as I, I click Finish on this. Uh, now I've got lots of options here. I've got backup schedule. I've got version management. So I can tick version management if I want it. Um, and I can also run data integrity checks as well um, on the data once it's backed up. Click Next. Um, any rules, so I can do things like data deduplication here, um, do some different policies, um, TCP BBR, great if you've got slower internet connections, you can limit the speed of it as well, turn on encryption, um, and just the log settings. So I'm going to click Next. Just a summary there, I'm very happy with everything there, so I'm going to click Create, and that's going to create the backup job um, and start to run that now. So that's going to try and send that data up to the cloud provider. It's just reminding me here there's a data integrity check option now available. I'm going to close that one out. Um, so that's going to start the backup 1% already. Um, you can get more information on the backup. You can click the report option here and then there's a little details option next to the backup job and it'll populate a bit more information for you. Um, it's more useful once the backup job's finished because um, it tells you things like how long did the whole backup take, things like that. Uh, but I'll just leave it on this screen here while it's doing that. Um, now, whilst it's doing that backup, what I'll do, um, I'll go and create a sync job. Oh, I've said that. It's already finished and completed. So there we go. Uh, report success. So I'll go and check the backup job. Uh, so there we can see that that completed, transferred 83.45 megabytes. Everything's there. All the files are there. Took about 30 seconds. So that was wonderful. My data is now backed up. Uh, now I'm going to go down to the, uh, the sync option. So here I'll click sync. I'm going to choose a sync now. I'm going to create a one-way sync. Again, I'll pick the MyQNAP Cloud Storage location. Click Next. This looks a little bit different for how it, how it gets set up compared to the, uh, the backup job. So you've got a few different actions. You can do uh, mirror, copy, or move of the data. So I'm just going to leave it on copy. Um, now I need to add folder pairs. So I'm going to go folder pair of the documents folder. That's my source data. And the destination folder pair, this time I'm going to choose the sync folder because I used the backup one for the backup job. So I'll click Sync. Conflict policy, just in case there is any conflicts, you can change that. Click Next. Scheduler is pretty much exactly the same. Um, now you can do uh, cool things here. You can set up a schedule, um, just like before, or you can say, I want to run after a job. So because there already was a job created, which we created before, called Backup One, I can say, I want this one to run after Backup One. So at midnight, I already know Backup One is going to run. Midnight every day is when it's going to run. When that job completes, I'm going to say, let this one run straight after it. Um, you could go much more often if you wanted to because it's more of a sync than a backup. So you could say I want to run um, a backup periodically, um, start time zero, wait interval. You can say set it to a low amount of time. So you can set it to say every five minutes if you wanted to. So I'm going to say every five minutes run the backup job starting at midnight. I am going to click sync now just so that it starts straight away anyway. And I'm going to click Next. Again, similar policies and things that we had before. So you've got most of the same options, client-side encryption, different items there. Uh, I'm going to click Next. 
happy with the summary, click create. And that's going to run now as well. Okay, so the syncing, 1%. So it's running the report now. Again, you can see into the report, see a bit more information. Um, there's details on sort of what files it's currently copying, things like that. So you can get a lot of information as it's copying. Uh, but we can already see that says success. So if we come down here and check the jobs, we can see I've got a one-way sync one and a backup one. Both were to the MyQNAP cloud storage destination. Uh, both were only about less than 100 meg of data so they completed very fast uh, but that's got my data off to the uh, to the other location i can see in the status screen here i've got my two jobs uh, no errors no warnings no logs to to worry about anything everything's there if i go down to storage spaces and look at it now i can see that total space used is all up there now i can see some information there's two jobs populated against this now um, so yeah that's working absolutely great um, so that's the uh, my QNAP cloud storage again for anybody that's interested in getting it uh, we do have different options here so you can pick different regions um, different sizes you can bill uh, monthly annually you can pick different options as well um, but again just to remind you if you go read the video description down below uh, for about the first four weeks after this video goes live the exact dates will be in the video description uh, we will provide 50 gigs a free storage for one year and that's on top of the 16 gigs that you get for free um, so go check that out and sign up for that if you uh, if you could make use of the uh, the, the cloud storage space there um, any questions at all please do let me know in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible all right thanks a lot for watching bye